what is going on YouTube Ava Trix here again and today I am bringing to you the first ever Smurf that I've ever gotten the Papa Smurf Ava Trux. now as you can see here the vaults in the inside are all level 18 my towers are all going to uh, level 9 some of them are already there um, the hero bases are mostly 16 some go into 17 so the buildings in the inside are very very high leveled and that's really due because I've had this account for much longer than the other ones the buildings in the outside aren't really all that um, you know it's just some levels here and there but nothing really really too great they're mainly lined up like that so that way when I'm doing G the mechamens have enough time to get to the base before the heroes and that does that way my heroes aren't split um, but let's get to the heroes as you can see in this smurf I don't have a pumpkin duke I don't have a cupid I don't have any of the uh, the gem only heroes all of these heroes are shard uh, farmable so basically here's basically the rundown of how I got all of these heroes now, first of all, Atlanticor. Atlanticor was the first hero that I ever rolled in this account, and this is the reason I kept the account, because I was thinking, oh, Atlanticor, let me keep it. Turned out to be not that great of an account as far as rolling, but, I mean, I made it work. Of course, I got the Druid from the, the calendar, so another instance where I had to wait a full month before I even had a Druid. The Grizzly Reaper was farmed with shards, so that's a that's a very long way to to be saving up and this was before torch battle so I didn't get uh, free shards along the way Emortep again was farmed and all of these uh, all of these talents were all with the free uh, uh, talent rerolls Thunder God was also farmed with shards so you know I just I just haven't been lucky at all now this is the only re real hero that I'm still using that I actually rolled which was succubus and I mean that's not much of a great hero I mean come on now now as you can see all of these slimes have been slimes that I've rolled or I've collected through the calendar and <laughs> I'm really only keeping it just for that one day where I'll roll an, a decent hero whether it be pumpkin duke or cupid or Dracula or even a Snowzilla at this point I mean <laughs> come on now I'm just waiting for that day but as it stands right now not really happening but um, this account it's still able to farm G um, so you know you don't necessarily need a pumpkin do Cupid and all of that jazz to be able to farm G uh, I did tap joy some gems I'm probably not a lot yeah 300 um, back when the offers were semi decent just for downloading apps and deleting them later on but I don't really bother with that anymore um, this account is able to do the 16 shard dungeon pretty easily it does take magic though but um, it's mainly just powering through it um, I can either drop down here and use a lot of magic or just drop at the top and kinda see how it goes so let's go ahead and just do that way so draw out the druid that way it does no damage and then just kinda work my way down and using magic wherever I need to so you see there Thunder God basically took out the full camp um, I'm hoping Emortep takes them out too but Emortep hits walls so that's kinda eh um, there we go we get some procs going down here it's looking it's looking good so far I haven't need uh, I haven't needed any sort of magic yet but usually I will and I just realized I don't have Guardian Angel with me. Oh boy. Hopefully I make this work. Uh, okay. And am I going to need it? Spirit Mage is coming on to me. And yeah, made it. Without Guardian Angel. There we go. <laughs> that would have been bad if I'd actually need a Guardian Angel. But no, just a small heal at the right place. And was able to walk through this. Um, so let me go ahead and actually buy Guardian Angel now because that's kind of important. <laughs> Alright. Oh my goodness. I forgot that. Alright, well. Let's go ahead and do it again. <laughs> oh man. Hopefully, because I need, I need Guardian Angel to be able to do it from the bottom. So let's go ahead and do, and do another run at the top here. Um, I need to use one spell. Let me use this Frenzy because honestly... 
at level one frenzy is not that impressive i'd rather have uh aries frenzy because is it aries frenzy i think so yeah because aries frenzy is at least it, it stays the whole time not a specific amount of time so that's always good um it's looking oh my goodness i dropped my my heal spell prematurely hopefully it doesn't come back to bite me in the butt uh and does it oh it did it did man my spell uh my spell placements have been really bad so far and really i mean it was i just dropped it early it wasn't really bad placement or anything it was just uh premature i guess would be the right word but since succubus is dead oh i got the shard drop that time since succubus is dead let me get the right spell this time let's go ahead and uh use the old trusty atlanta core all right so this time i can actually come from the bottom and lead with atlanta core and then there we go have him proc, have him kill that spirit mage, and then just wait for that heal if it's needed. Hopefully it's not, but I see that champion coming over, and I don't know what that champion's going to be doing. Doesn't seem like he's going to be doing much. And at this point, the only worry is that Druid at the top, but with some procs right now, should be dwindling. Boom. All right, so I just need one more Reaper proc. Doesn't seem like Reaper's going to be procking anytime soon. Hopefully, Thunder God will take it out. Yep, there we go. All right, so that worked out rather well. So, yeah, I mean, outside of my horrible magic placement and premature placement, this uh, this account can do the 16 shard dungeon. No no big issues there. All right, uh, no, no drop there. Oh, well. All right, so where is it? There is fervor. It's fervor. Oops, it's not frenzy. All right, so let's go ahead and do a G. But actually, let me take out this and put succubus because succubus is much, uh, much better at this. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. When when I put these buildings like this, I mainly put it so uh, the the mecha men's can have some time. But when they come in the middle, it's kind of a toss up. But at least it, it doesn't separate my heroes. They're all attacking one side. Now, this is where my, my level of the buildings help. Because uh, they, they're kind of coming in from both sides. But because my buildings are so high level, it doesn't really matter. Now, Immortab wasted his proc there to kill like one or two troops, which is unfortunate. But hey, it doesn't matter. Here comes G2 coming from the same side, which I don't fear again because of those high level buildings i don't i don't worry about them getting knocked out too too fast and having those heroes switch to my heroes right away so you can see here usually most buildings would have been knocked out already not that gold vault it's it's there like yeah i'll take it i'm a champ all right so let's see where they're coming from they're coming from the bottom but of course they're going to come from the middle so they're going to separate uh i hate separation all right, so actually this might work out from in my favor because not all of them separated, so I'd be I'll be able to take out uh, those heroes and then work my way up to these heroes. So that worked out actually pretty well in my favor. All right, so here we go. Now it's just cleanup time for those towers. I have yet to lose a hero inside of my core base. Keep that in mind. That's very important. Now, G4 is going to come. It's probably going to take out this vault, maybe. Um, but the main thing that I want for G4 is to have my heroes ready to proc by G5. Because if my heroes are not ready to proc by G5, it can get a little messy. Now, I usually don't lose it, but it, it gets a little close. So here it comes. G5 for all the marbles. Do I even lose a building? Let's see. Let's see. Everything so far has been working in my favor. Succubus procs on the ninja. It might lose a hero because of all of those griffins in the outside, but hey, it doesn't really matter. And I just lost that building. But look at this. My my heroes are barely getting touched. All of my buildings are fine, and there you have it. But thank you for watching, guys, and until later. 
Bye.